everyone. Welcome today. We are going to talk about um, your assets and how valuable you are and to just step into God's calling, whatever that might be for you. Um, and we'll just do a little flow, meditate on what you feel or what you are being called to do in your life. Go ahead and start in prayer, just asking God to open our hearts and our minds and our bodies to receive whatever his word is. Whatever he wants to teach us today. Letting go of those thoughts that are self-driven. Giving us time to breathe and feel his presence. Do not love the world. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For everything in the world, the, craving, the cravings of sinful men, the lust of his eyes, and the boasting of what he has and does, comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but the man who does not, or the man who does the will of God, lives forever. So we all have a, something that we're, we're called to do. We have that in, that intuition, that gut feeling, something that's telling us what to do. And that could be God. Sometimes you hear a voice. Sometimes you just feel that tug in your heart. And those are moments of God. Um, and when you get those moments, you just have to follow them. Sometimes fear steps in the way that, that what will the world think gets in the way. And that's okay. He understands. And he forgives us for when we don't step into his calling. And then when we do, he rewards us with so much great love. And it comes in so many ways. And when you see his reward, it is just goosebumps and joy and just light. And um, you know it's from him. It could be anything. It could be just a sign that your battery dies and you don't have the $80 to replace it or $150 and all of a sudden you get a settlement check that you don't, you worked for a company 10 years ago and you got a settlement check because they didn't give you your breaks for the exact amount of that battery. That's God. That's him saying, I've got your back. You've been following me and I will provide. Let's go ahead and take that time to reflect on the times when he has provided after you followed his calling. And times when you allowed fear to prevent you from stepping into his calling, and that's okay. He forgives and he loves. Just draw him into your heart. You can put your hands in prayer, however you wish. You just sit and meditate and breathe into all that love. those unexpected moments that he's provided. You just feel where he's calling you today. And that feeling can be overwhelming at times, and that's okay. You don't have to go into the big picture. Just, what is it at this moment? 
today? What's that one thing he wants you to step and take action to today? And just feel the breath come and go from the body. Feel the love in the center of the chart, the heart. The shoulders drop back and away from the ears. The crown of the head draws up towards the sky. As you feel the sit bones grounded on the earth. Begin to move your body into his presence. He's making small circles here. Like a pendulum, just kind of allowing the body to make small movements, just moving his spine, dancing in his love. Maybe even changing directions when you're ready. Maybe the head and the neck begin to follow. You just begin to move a little organically in the body. That natural movement, just feel where the body is taking you. It can be in multiple directions. Begin to lengthen the arms up overhead, reaching from sit bones to fingertips. Exhale, lower that right hand down, reach through the left arm. Inhaling up. Exhaling, lowering the left hand down, reaching through the right. Inhaling back up. Drawing the palms apart, bring the left hand to the right thigh. Take a little twist. Inhaling back up. Exhaling, right hand to the left thigh. Take a little twist. Unlacing the legs and just keeping the knees slightly bent. Heel hip width apart and just windshield the, the hips open and let the knees melt side to side as you get a little movement into the hips. It can just be a small, smooth movement. Or it can be fast and rapid depending on the energy that your body has and it's holding and it just needs to release. I'm going to let my knees melt over to the side and just breathe into them, into the hip of the right side, feeling a little openness in that front of the hip, changing directions, just melting it over, breathing, feeling that open space. Inhaling it back up. Bring both feet together. Just a little bit of a soles come together, heart lifts. You can fold forward if your body says yes. Just really allow the body to be the guide and going to your edges today, whatever your edges look like, however they feel. Bring the legs back together. Sweep the knees around. Coming to that tabletop position. And just begin to move the body into that cat cow, dropping the waistline down, heart through the biceps, tailbone towards the sky. Exhaling, tailbone down, chin to chest, rounding like the cat. Inhaling the cow. Exhaling the cat. Inhaling. And exhaling. Nodding the head yes and no. Maybe shifting the hips over to the right, gazing over the right shoulder. Inhaling center. Shifting the hips left, gazing over the left. And shifting over to the right, exhaling. Just wagging the tail, inhaling center, exhaling left. 
rocking back and forth. Maybe you want to go into that scrape the barrel. So here you can wag the tail over, rib cage to the right, sweeping the rib cage up to the sky into cat. Drawing the rib cage over to the left and around like you're scraping the peanut butter jar with your ribs. Letting movement in the shoulders and the hips and the joints, and the vertebrae, finding space, lengthening all those intercostal muscles, the obliques, the abdomen. Maybe even shifting forward, letting the hips open and back into child's pose and rounding back forward into tabletop or hips open exhale back once you're in child's pose let the forehead come down to the earth feeling that surrender as sometimes when we begin to step into God's calling there's a space of surrender where you just let God, you find stillness and you can really hear his voice. Just take a moment here and just feel his presence. Breathing into the belly. Feeling the breath go right behind the heart. Expanding the back of the rib cage. Walking the hands all the way over to the right side. Reaching that left hand forward. The left hip draws back and you can feel the side body opening as the breath channels beside the left side of the heart, opening that side for breath and receiving, creating space. And slowly walking the hands all the way over to the left side. Reach the right arm forward. Hug the right hip back. Breathing to the right side of the heart this time. Finding that space with the breath. back to center, rounding forward, begin to roll the right toe under and press through the heel so that the toes are down on the earth. You can feel the back of the calf and the sole of the foot stretch. Floating the foot up, we're going to bring it up and over the left, land it on the earth. We're going to open up that side of the heart once again, that whole side body of the right side, and gaze back towards the foot. I'm exploring a shape of surrender, once again shifting the hips back into a pigeon, letting the foot come down to the earth and melting over the thigh.
walking the hands back forward, bringing the foot up and out to the side, come all the way up. We're gonna reach for the sky. The toes are coming forward. So I'll demonstrate this way. The back knee is long behind, that front toes facing. Drawing the hips forward, hands in the pocket, hearts lifted up. Breathing to the front body. Reaching the arms up overhead. And exhale, lower the right hand down the leg, reach through the left side. Feeling that heart open on the left side body. Feeling a lift from the hip flexor all the way up. Inhaling, coming up. Lower the hand down. I'm gonna use a block here because the earth is kind of far away today. That block is gonna be underneath the shoulder, or underneath the shoulder or slightly out. You're still pressing the hips out, reaching the arm over, feeling one line of energy from the sole of the, the sole of the foot up to the fingertips, that knife edge of the foot. And you can hug the ribcage up to the sky, keeping the heart open and ready to receive. Floating the foot up, and then bend the knee and catch the foot. Still feeling the front body open. Breathing in the front of the body, feeling the chest rise and fall with the breath. Sending the leg back out, coming all the way up. And slowly lowering the hands back underneath the shoulders, sweep the foot down. We're gonna come back to tabletop. Feel the difference in the side bodies and feel the, the breath come and go slightly different on one side than the other. I'm gonna roll the left toe under and press through the heel. Feeling the sole of the foot lengthen, the Achilles tendon in the length of the calf. Take a moment here and breathe. Floating the foot up and over the right. Landed on the earth and gaze back of the foot, opening the side of the heart on the left side. Give yourself time to reflect and surrender, sending your hips back to, to pigeon, bring your arms down. with God's presence here, just hearing his small voice, walking the hands back up. Bring the foot up. We're going to extend it out to the side. Bring the sole of the foot to the earth. Coming back up. So that toe is facing forward. The foot's behind. You're kind of pressing the hips forward. You feel a lift up and out of the ribcage as you slide the hand down the leg, reaching through that side body. Feeling the ribcage expand on that right lung. Feeling the heart open on the right side. Rolling that top shoulder back, breathing, making space with each inhale. Inhaling, coming back up. Using your block for underneath that arm if you need to. Still pressing the hips forward, reaching the left arm over the ear. 
Feeling the knife the edge of the foot grounded as you lift the rib cage up, feeling that left side body open. Trusting, being fully exposed and ready to receive. Floating the foot up, bend the knee, catch the foot. Press through the heel, open the heart and the front body. Breathe here. Extending the leg back out. Lower the hands. Bring the knee back underneath the hips. Sending it back to child's pose once again. Bring the forehead down, surrender. You place your hands into prayer behind the head, bending the elbows. Taking a moment here in meditation or prayer. Reaching the arms back out, rounding forward to tabletop. And slowly rolling the toes under, sending the hips to the sky once again. Or for the first time, and begin to pedal out the feet. Be a soft bend in the knees. Letting the heart melt towards the thighs. Keeping the fingers wide. Pressing through the palms and you're sending the heart towards the thighs. Sit bones go up towards the sky and you just pedal it out. Feeling back of the hamstring lengthen on each side. Maybe even nodding the head yes and no. Feeling the hip drop. Just really exaggerate that feeling of the back of the legs. The goal here is not to reach the heel down. It's just to feel length in the back of the leg. We're going to bring the gaze between the hands, soft bend in the knees, and we're going to walk all the way forward. Coming into a forward fold here. Releasing the hands to the elbows and let the head hang. You can bend the knees and let the belly rest on the thighs to support the spine. And just let the neck release, nodding and just let the shoulders soften, releasing the weight of the world, letting go of anything that no longer serves you, anything that's been weighing you down, just release it here. Opening and closing the jaw, finding release in the face. Sliding the hands to shins with a flat back, so you're nice and flat here. Gaze just a few inches ahead. If the shins are hard to reach, you can always go to your thighs. Exhale, fold once again. With a flat back, we're gonna sunrise up, inhale. Rise the arms up to the sky. Feel the heart drawing up towards God. Light back bend here. And exhale, hands to heart once again. Reconnecting and feeling and hearing that still small voice, that tug. That trust that he's asking for you to follow. 
He says, follow me. Where does that lead us? Follow me. Where does that lead you? Where is he taking you? Sometimes we don't know where he's taking us. We just step and follow blindly and just trust that he's got our best interest in our heart. Inhaling the arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive back down. Reach the left leg long behind. Lower the knee. We're going to bring the strap up with us into the right hand. So you're in a nice low lunge. That left arm's going to reach out, bend the elbow, catch the strap, reach up the heart. Opening and ready to receive whatever gifts he has. Whatever plan he has for us, just ready to step into it. And exhale, release the hands, bring it to the inside of the thigh. You can heel toe the foot out to the edge. You can use a block and come down into a space of surrender again. Coming down. You can roll out the thigh into a, the knife edge of the foot to open up the hip if you like. And just breathe here. Feeling the breath channel to the back of the heart once again. all the way back up. We're going to bring both, both blocks back. Send the heel up. So here you can have the hips both facing forward, toe up so you can feel the back of the leg. Or you can come all the way down and reach forward. all the way back up. We're going to bring the hands forward, step the back foot forward to the front of the mat. Once again, folding, rounding, releasing down. You can even wrap your arms around the body and draw everything in. Give yourself a nice hug. Releasing down, inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up. Reach for the sky. Slight back bend, opening up your heart to God. Exhaling, hands to heart. Reconnecting with that intention. His purpose. Feeling his presence in your heart. Inhaling, reaching the arms up. Exhale, swan dive down the end. Step the right leg long behind. Lower the back knee down. Make sure the knee's over the ankle. Inhaling, coming up with the strap. Strap's going in the left hand this time. Reach the right arm out, bend the elbow, catch the strap, lift up the heart. Ready to receive. Feel his love, his presence. Exhale, releasing the hands down, coming to the inside of the foot. You can come down into a complete surrender, opening up that knife edge of the foot and just opening the hip. 
Just breathing into the heart once again. the hips back, lift up the heel, breathe in the back of the leg. You can lower the hip down and forward fold if you like. Coming back forward, coming back rounding, sending the hips back to the sky. We're going to step both feet back, cuddling out the feet. Sending the hips to the sky this time. Try to find a little stillness in the down dog. Feeling that grounding, that firm foundation of both hands and feet as the tailbone draws up and the heart melts down. Feeling the length and the strength in the pose. We're going to step the right leg forward and pivot both feet wide. So we're just going to come all the way up, toes out, reach for the sky. Be that shining light, that star shining. Feeling the greatness in the heart, the light, welcoming all the love, coming down into a little bit of strength, that foundation, that female energy of the goddess pose, arms are bent, hands are open for receiving and feeling. And inhaling up to star, let the light shine. And exhaling down, receive. Inhaling up, star shine. Exhaling, coming down, receive. Inhale, lift your feet. Light shines. Exhale, come down. And inhale, reach. Light shining, shining. And let's do that shooting star. Come down, toes point in. And fall down into a surrender shape, folding, letting the hips go up into that wide leg straddle. down, bringing the right arm up to a twist, bringing out, taking out all the way of the world and just making room for just following his will. Lowering the hand down and exhaling the left arm up, twisting out anything that's toxic in your life, just reaching it out. Making room for anything pure. Release the hands back down. We're going to heel toe the feet in. Coming back down to the earth, finding that foundation on the earth once again. We're going to first stop into Malasana, into prayer hands, thighs, drawing space. Tailbone comes down and forward, heart lifts up. Feeling his presence again. Feeling the foundation of the feet. That strength. Knowing that he's holding you here. And then trusting him as you drop back to your hips. 
It's okay if you round. He still didn't let you get hurt. That's okay if you drop that. Coming up. We're gonna keep the knees bent. Bring the right foot over the left. Breathe into that hip flexor. Feel the heart rise up as you breathe deep into the hips. <sighs> Extending the right leg out, right foot over. Take a twist here, keep that right hand back and gaze over the right shoulder. back bring the sole of the foot to get to the inside of the foot as we're in that seated tree reaching the arms up leading with the heart as you exhale fold the hands reach for the foot whether you can reach the foot or not you can have your hand on this on the um, shin or the calf where you can use the strap we're just going to take it into a little twist reaching the left arm back back forward this time extending or bending the right knee bringing the left foot over catching the foot above the ankle on the thigh lifting the heart up rising breathing deep into the belly into that thigh into that hip Extending the right leg out. Bring the foot over. And take that twist. You can hug the thigh and keep the left leg back. Gaze over the left shoulder. Inhaling back center. Bring the foot to the inside of the thigh. Take that seated tree. You can use the strap if you need to. Inhaling up. Exhaling, folding forward. Keep your left hand down on the strap or on the leg and reach the right arm back. Take a little twist. Coming back forward. Soles of the feet touch. Inhaling up and exhale, come forward. We're going to sleep our body around. You can place blocks under the knees to help ease your body down. We're going to come down. We can keep those there for now. I'm going to place our feet on them for now. If you don't have blocks, that's okay. We're just going to use them just to kind of elevate the feet a little bit. Kind of feel the sacrum grounded on the earth. Feel the space. Hug the knees into the chest, drawing all that love into the body, into the heart, into the soul. Taking a gentle twist, bringing the right, the knees over to the right, gazing over the left.
Inhaling the knees up. And exhaling on the left, gazing over right. Inhaling the legs back up. Maybe bring the feet, the feet up towards the sky. Take a little happy baby. Feel the grounding of the earth, the support. You can take wide leg straddle if you like, or a reclined staff. Whatever feels best in your body, you could take that moment. It's kind of yogi's choice right now. Just whatever you need, whatever the heart's desire. And then your final resting shape you can take back into final Shavasana, placing one hand on your heart and one on your belly as we connect with that intuitional space, that gut feeling, that God's voice, whatever you want to call it. And then hand on the heart, just feeling the love, feeling his presence. And just completely surrender into the shape, allowing all the gripping and the holding to just release of the body. Taking a few sighs, deep inhale. Sighing it out. Inhale. Sighing it out. Releasing any tension in the eyes and in the mouth and in the jaw. The shoulders drop away from the ears, letting go of the weight of the world. The forearms and hands become heavy. The length of the torso becomes heavy. The thighs and the hips and the shins and the calves become heavy. It's just you and the breath, support of the earth and God holding you. Just sitting there, reflecting, feeling the presence, breathing. Do not conform any longer to the patterns of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of, his of, of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what, God is, what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Slowly wake up the body, bringing light and awareness back, circling the ankles and the wrists, lengthening the arms overhead, lengthening, breathing in, sighing it out, drawing knees into the chest, give yourself a hug. Make your way over to the side and press your way up to a sit. Gathering all that love, positive energy into the heart. Thanking him for all that he has done and all that he will do. Thank you 
all for coming and honoring your mind, body, spirit, trusting me along your journey, trusting God along your journey. The light of me honors and respects the light within all of you. Amen. Namaste. The verses that we read today um, in the beginning was 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 <coughs> through 17. And the second verse that I read at the end was Romans 12, chapter 2. I mean, sorry, chapter 12, verse 2. <coughs> Excuse me, got a tickle. So I thank everybody for coming tonight or this morning, whatever you joined. Have a good day. Thank you.